Welcome back to a new and exciting episode of the Vile Files Bachelorette Premiere Recap Edition. We're back. The offseason is over. Thank God. Actually, I really quite enjoyed the offseason with all the, <laughs> all the Vanderpump content. But we are excited to be back with you, all, your, all the Bachelorette fans who maybe took some time off from us. But uh, hopefully you didn't, uh, because I don't know if you know, we've been crushing life over here at the Vile Files household. The household is with us, Allie, Amanda, and Derek, and the household grows with Genevieve. Everyone, welcome back, Genevieve. You may have heard her on uh, the uh, Vander Vanderpump Vander reunion, re part three. Re re reunion Part 3. Yeah, so happy to have Genevieve with us. Also, returning to the show, friend of show, fan favorite, Arden Marine Hi. returns. Hi, and jumpsuit and all. Jumpsuit Woo! city. I wore it. I'm ready. I'm on it. What, I'm ready. I'm what mobile. was your colored jumpsuit last time? Denim. How I'm many jumpsuits do you have? Six. Six. Yeah. That's a great number. Yeah, I get them. I get them every year at the Big Bud Press sample sale because they're like 40 bucks, and that's how I've expanded my That's empire. a $40 outfit? This one is not. This is 120 This is good okay. American. Yeah. Okay. It's an investment, but... But I wear it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, you can put on like a like a little more a colorful like sneaker. A fun sneak. yeah. yeah. And then mm -hmm. at night you can wear like a different shoe. You're out. You're ready to go. Yeah. It's just the bathroom. You're fully nude in a public restroom. You're yeah. just and you pray that the lock is good. Because it's like you're it's humbling. Yeah. You're like holding it. Yeah, you're like yeah. Yeah. your titties are out, you're at Chipotle, <laughs> yeah. and you're like, it's occupied. <laughs> yeah. Fully nude. I just gotta take a moment to myself and get fully nude. Yeah. Well, either way, we are happy Thanks. to have you back. Thanks. A lot to get into. Oh, uh, while we have you, before we get into the episode, uh, if you you know, it's episode one, there's a lot of guys, there's a lot of people, interesting past. If you haven't checked out our our Bachelorette bio breakdowns the last two weeks. Uh, we have a part one and a part two with Elise Guilfoyle and our pop culture correspondent, Natalie Joy. Uh, actually, really funny stuff. And uh, we, we really get familiar with these guys. So if you want to become more familiar with all the, you know, great to average to terrible men that Charity has to pick from, go back and check out those episodes as well. I'm excited. I've... I was I was unsure. Me too. I was too. I honestly thought Charity might be too normal. I agree. Too well-rounded. I feel the same too way. Too mature. I was too... like, give me a Christina Mandrell. You know what I mean? Give me a right? wild card. I, I a thought bobcat. she was might, might be too emotionally regulated. Too loved as a child. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it turns out, and we don't know yet, but no. like there are glimpses of, and I say this lovingly, Charity, if you're listening. Yeah. She's a little toxic. A little, oh, a little messy. That's interesting that a that was your take. I like that. Yeah, I mean, we don't know. It's early, but she's definitely ignoring some red flags. Well, I like that. I like that she did ignore some red flags. She's like, I'm the boss of my own ignoring yeah. red flags. Excuse me. That's the fun of being why, alive. Why take advice from my, my brother, my best friend, someone who's like looking out for him? Why? No, let's just, let's, let's do the opposite. Let's, let's one up him. <laughs> Let's spite him. Yeah. She, she she didn't have to give that motherfucker no. a first impression no, rose. She could have kept him. She could have saved him for the last, last rose. rose. Yeah. He would have been a great last rose. It was a wild card move. It almost felt like a condensed season of a hometown where, I'm sorry, the final, like the final episodes where the families are always like, we like Sarah, but I guess Vicky's okay. And he's like, I'm going with Vicky. You know, yeah. it's like, 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 don't you tell me I will, Vicky, I'm horny for Vicky. Like the <laughs> second the family likes someone, they're out. Yeah. And we last season on, on who was the last? Be um, Can't even remember. I Zach. 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 Yeah. Sorry, Zach. Yeah. DJ, uh, DJ Versace. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. My favorite DJ. <laughs> and did you know that Zach's in a band? <laughs> <laughs> So cool. Yeah. And he's like standing by a pool with his friend. Like, like a not, pair of sunglasses. Yeah, he's like, oh, I can see. He's such a musician. I was waiting for like, and did you know Charity was, uh, I don't know, what the, whatever the fuck. I she collects like, all American girl dolls or whatever. That would be great. I would love that. And then no photo of any dolls. I felt like she had a great group of guys too. Entertaining bunch. Yeah. Yeah. There, there, there seems to be like more characters. Yeah. Right? I mean, they literally have a guy who's like a, a wrestler. The wrestler was a, I'm surprised it's our first wrestler. More handsome than I thought. And 
I found very well spoken and like yeah, charming. Charming. Yeah. And I stupid cowboy hat, but you know what? I feel like he can grow on me. Like I don't. He's not going to get my final rose, but no. I did enjoy. What if he watched? He was like, "That's the one." I did enjoy the alpha male flip off halfway through the episode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chris jumping like he's the only one who can flip and jump, and then Caleb really he's just like, said, "Hold my hat." Yeah, he's like, "I can do it too." You know, Chris was mind was blown that there could be two guys that could you execute a, a flip. flip. Yeah, but he's a wrestler. I, mean, I like part of the gig. You know, you gotta I, you gotta jump off from the top rope. Backflip is like it's like a wrestling move. Not that I know that about wrestling. He is but. like muscular. He is hairless. Like he's like yeah. an eel. He's yeah. like a he's like a wrestling he was eel. Yeah, born to be a wrestler. I don't want to brag, but in my off season, I just uh, watched the first two seasons of UK Love Island 2015 and 2016, uh, British and uh, with subtitles on because I couldn't understand them. And uh, there was a wrestler on there, and he was. Very handsome and so weird that he, not one woman. Weirder than Spencer? Nobody. Spencer's going to, Spencer, you're great. Don't be a serial killer at my house. Spencer is very actually a, a red, like an alarm bell. I, I think he's a secret douchebag because he's, he's a director for medical device sales. And they love, they, they love, they love douchebags. He did say. She thinks I'm a nice guy. I'm not sure if I'm a nice Like, he was like, I don't know if I'm a nice guy. And I thought, you, that means you're not. If you have to question it on television. He definitely has a boat, for sure. And he uses the boat to get laid, for sure. That's such a good... Yeah. Okay, do we think Brayden... Do we think the glasses are real? Do we buy it? Do, do we buy it? The glasses? All of it. I do we buy it? Maybe they're reading well, glasses. Yeah, get, be more specific. Okay, I'm watching it. I liked his kind of nerdy vibe. I liked, I kind of was like, I see why she liked it. I liked his kind of awkward. Boyish. Yeah, but then when know. you saw him in his opening package, he was kind of like hot rock climber surfer guy. That's the thing. The suit and his intro package did not add up to me. I was very confused because the suit is, as Nick has said, full stock broker, yeah. like three piece suit. Yes. Like he went pink. to men's outlet. Like he was like, really you know, trying suit to supply. be like almost yeah. like a Bennett scarf, high class Harvard, Bennett. whatever. <laughs> and then his intro package is him Surf. rock climbing and being in nature. He's bungee jumping. He's like, I just want to spend quality time. And it's like, that's some so Tom Sandoval quality he time right there. Like, he's yeah. he all adventure like, activities. He felt like di a different guy. Yeah. Even like his hair. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, the intro package and then him with his hair back and the glasses and the suit. I'm there like, was a lot. Like, Which I'm is like, it? is he for real? What, he when, when, when you say for real. Is he playing her? Is this like. Oh, I think he's a massive fuck boy. Okay, that's what I. Okay, that's yeah. what I mean. He's from San Diego. Red <laughs> he, flag. He's 24. <laughs> he's 24. <laughs> red flag. <laughs> I'm 24. Red you're flag. not a man in San Diego. <laughs> yeah, you're That's not. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about Bachelor yeah. universe, in a sense, like. You're right. It's 2023. Quite frankly, like. You yeah. Should be a fuckboy. If you if you live in San Diego, yeah. you're 24. Yeah. Chances are you're a fuckboy. You know, and it's also fun as long as you kind of have upfront expectations about like, hey, I'm just. He definitely on a dating app on every date he's ever gone on. He has said, I'm just not looking for anything serious right now. And then all of a sudden he's found himself on The Bachelorette. Can I just say they've all been very smart and led with, I really related to you because I've been hurt too. And then it's like, who has it? But, but, but to me, <laughs> that was the first glimpse that, that chair for me, yeah. that was the first glimpse that charity might be a little messy. Great. Because I hope so. The f <laughs> Brayden. Yeah. And we're, we're uh, clearly already jumping all over the place, but sure. Uh, and we'll get back to our favorite limo exits or whatever. Sure, sure. Uh, first conversation she has with Braden. Yeah. Sits down. His yeah. ass hasn't even touched that little couch yeah. by the pool. It, with the equivalent of going on a first date, ordering you drinks, sitting down yeah. and being like, so I just want to tell you, um, I've also been cheated on. Yes. You know, my heart's also been shattered. Trauma bond. Tra right you know, out of the right gate. Just right out of the fucking gate. Yeah, it's like gate. putting it on your dating profile. Yeah. Like one thing about me <laughs> on his, like, is I've been cheated on. I've been cheated on. <laughs> like, yeah, well, right? You're really leading with it. And I'm thinking, oh, Charity is going to catch this shit. Yeah. Right? She, this, this emotionally mature, well-rounded individual. Who, Therapist with a, a master's degree. Who, who, yeah, has a master in therapy yeah. she's gonna pick up all over this one she's gonna think what are the options it's either insincere 
yeah. because he knows this about her. He's trying yeah. to bond with her yeah. and 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 just kind of connect with her from an insincere standpoint. Or two, it is sincere, but like not the right it, time, not, not the, right the right time. time. And like it's a projection of like all his insecurities Bingo. and yada yada yada. Option three was Charity eats it the fuck up. Yeah. And she's like, oh, my God. And like, I just did not expect Charity. Her basements were flooded. Oh, yeah. She <laughs> I, clearly Charity has not worked through her being cheated on. The, right. This was talked about last season. Yeah. Uh, it clearly was devastating to her. Yeah. She was very open and vulnerable about, uh, about that. Yeah. You know, and, and, and rightfully so if that's been cheated on. And like, listen, like it's it, but it's clear and it's fine if she's not over it. But it's clearly she's she's not because it, it seemed like it made her feel safer. To talk to to hear him to, say that, yeah, because immediately she's like, His "Well, he won't do that to me because right. he knows how painful it is to do someone." So instead of thinking, "Wait, why is he saying this this fast? Yeah. Why, where is this coming from? Yes. Why do you already know this about me?" Like, by the way, like, what is your? Tell me about yourself. What is your name? What is your name? What is, what what is, is your, your name? name? <laughs> what is your name? Literally, what is your name? You know? No, like, and they were almost like, their tails were wagging like two puppies. Yeah. At the, like, <gasps> and like she just, was like, he's hot. He won't cheat on me. I love you. Yeah, you're right. Well, I thought we were under the impression that at the beginning of that conversation, she's kind of sitting there like, who's this weirdo? Yeah. He's got the earring. He's got the ill-fitting That's right, suit the earring. stockbroker. That's and right. And then the second he said that, she was like, <gasps> Like melted. He's Harry Styles stockbroker. Yeah. I want to say as a person who I was married for a long time and then I uh, don't want to be scandalous, but I'm a divorcee. And uh, <gasps> and so thank you. <laughs> Sorry, out. I know you guys are getting off get of the show. Are so I'm sorry, should I go? I don't feel Can safe. I keep the Topo Chico? Um, Yuck. So I so I, I I basically had been with this person my I in my entire like adult life. And so I had never like gone on like dates. And I certainly had never gone on dates in the era of apps. And so when I came out and I started dating, a friend of mine very early on was like, keep it light in the beginning. Just see if you have fun. Just see if you get along. Do not, you don't need to get into any detail, like any messiness, any trauma. Do not trauma bond. Do not let them like, just see if you kind of have a, like a fun, good time with them at, for the first couple of dates. Like then you can, like there's a time and a place to sort of reveal, but people sort of have to earn your secrets or hear you hearing theirs like not you cannot do that with every person you go out with and i thought that was such good advice of like just go see if you have fun no it's great advice oh i do want to point out though that i i've been informed that we have been misusing the term trauma bond interesting yeah i think it's perceived as two people talking about past traumas and bonding over it yeah uh, and i don't know i didn't verify this someone just mentioned it to us it's when the victim bonds with their abuser uh, Ah. well i don't yeah i guess yeah, and, and and they bond over the abuse. I guess uh, that might be. How about so we need that a new phrase? We need uh, a new no, phrase. It's, no, it's true. Uh, this says like trauma bond is a term developed by psychologist George Dutton and Susan Painter to describe emotional bonds with an individual that arise from a reoccurring cyclical pattern of abuse perpetrated by intermittent reinforcement through rewards and punishment. Yeah. Well, that's not what I so meant. What, what do, <laughs> Why so, don't we call it the hurt yurt of you when you go so, into the hurt yurt of your past hurts on a date and then you keep it fun? Yeah. yeah. What do we call it when? Yeah. When, what, the, when hurt the hurt yurt. The hurt yurt. The hurt yurt. The hurt yurt. Okay. We're going to go into the hurt yurt and talk about our hurts. <laughs> we can save the hurt yurt for like date four. So they hurt yurted. Yeah, we're going to hurt yurted. They hurt yurted. <laughs> they hurt yurted. <laughs> I like that. It sounds like a bad case of diarrhea. <laughs> I got the hurt yard. Guys, I got the hurt yard. Be cool. Oh, yeah. yeah, how was your trip? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I got the hurt yard on night two. So uh, it's a little it's awkward. Uh, yeah, I, I just, I was shocked that Charity just ate it up. Just mm-hmm. loved it. Loved yeah. it so much. It was amazing. I got to say, I was, I was wrong about the brother uh, move. It it played. It was right. And the smart move was to have him be the bartender. That the bartender made that it. That was right? the it made, The bartender it made, it, made it better because, like, also he did a he all did he did a bad job. He didn't play a character. Yeah. Because he's like, oh, I don't know if they're gonna know. He could have been like, hey, well, like, yeah, I'm a, I'm in a costume. I'm I'm an aspiring actor. Yeah. You guys know how it is. Oh, maybe you don't. Like, yeah. it's, this is so Hollywood. Yeah, I got you to know? be on The Bachelor. Yeah, I'm yeah. just like, it's like a SAG product. You know, he could have said some whatever. These guys would have ate it all up. They don't. Yes, because the they difference. gave him the world's worst costume. Yeah, the world's worst costume. The world's worst wig. But it, like, <laughs> it worked. <Yeah. laughs> oh, and they pull, when he pulled it off, they're like, oh my god, it's a fake mustache. I'm like, 
you did not know that? <laughs> like, it's like the fake mustache. It, it felt like that guy because obviously a lot of the room didn't recognize him because we've seen him once, you know, yeah. six months ago or yeah. whatever. It felt like when he pulled off the mustache, that guy thought, that's the reveal, that it was a fake mustache. <laughs> right. Yeah. Not yeah. like, oh, it's her brother. <laughs> yeah. Because like, yeah. no one knew immediately. Also, what, what, what were they doing trying to convince us that Charity had no idea that part. What was what was up with that? Like for anyone who's never been at the Bachelor Mansion, like spoiler alert, I wouldn't call it a mansion. It's a house. <laughs> it's a big house. <laughs> and like it's nice, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Like, you know, privileged if you own something like that. And it has a nice sizable backyard, but this idea yeah. that it's so large that she like she's roaming the entire compound <laughs> all over the place and she didn't see her brother bartending? Like, or the disguise was that well, Where good. did she think he <laughs> yeah, went? Like, that's right. She, she, she was so confused. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, oh, I'm sorry. I've been uh, having a fake mustache. My from you all night, sir. But she, she kind of fucking hated it. She was kind of annoyed. She's like, oh, really? Cool. Yeah. Like, she does not like getting advice from brother. Well, it is sort of condescending of, like, you can't chart your own path and just trust your gut. Like, I suppose I'd be annoyed. Yeah. I don't know. Like, let me trust my own, like... I don't know, but why didn't she embrace it? If Charity's ever watched a, a, an episode, and, and if she did any kind of homework, and yeah. I assume the student that she is, she might have done some homework. Yeah. You you constantly hear how about how much the leads don't know what's going on right. uh, in the house. Right. There's so much they don't see. They're not privy to some of the conversations right. between the guys. So that alone, wouldn't she be like, oh, great. Like, what did you hear? You I know? wonder if it's because the guys all behave kind of well. Like, nobody was like a real... Like, it seemed surprisingly they didn't have a clear villain night one. I mean, Spencer's, like, a little quirky, but, like, yeah, he no. didn't seem like a dude. Well, if yeah. anyone was a villain, it would be Brayden. I, it made Not me wonder if, like, what their history, like, Charity and her brother was around, like, her bringing home guys she's dated. Right. Because it's like if it's one of those things where like whenever she brings home or like if he was like really riding the I told you so train right. with the shitty six year multiple infidelity right. incidents guy, then maybe she's like, no, like it just like automatically she goes to that place. When he this is just a technical question, uh, but when we saw the footage of Nehemiah at the bar and he's talking with these guys and he reached for that piece of paper and he's like yeah. writing on it. Is that like their drink counter? Was he in charge of that? Like, when you saw, like, it clearly Nehemiah, I didn't see him actually, like, mixing up cocktails. I think they left that to the real bartender. But he grabbed, like, a piece of paper that looked like almost like an Excel not, spreadsheet. Maybe. And I was like, is he in charge that of saying, like... That was after my time. I don't know how that's they That's interesting. They were, yeah. like, you know, because they were, like, around a shot. So I'm wondering if he was, like, one, one, one on all their names. Not Michael, the yacht captain, telling uh, Charity's brother how he's into, like curvier women and yeah. doesn't like petite women yeah meanwhile like charity seems to be fairly she's very spectacularly petite spectacular <laughs> petite Spectac yeah. yeah and just also like a weird thing to like talk to a bartender about that <laughs> yeah forget about, <laughs> forgetting about the fact that like her brother's there they all are mic they are yeah. mic'd. they yeah. are filming a tv show and he's basically talking about his physical preferences when it comes to women's bodies like what a weird also fucking move you've seen her before you came on like so like just maybe say it to your friends at home before and like, you go on. Was he complaining? Because it, it, it was aired as if like it was more like a statement of fact. <laughs> like what <laughs> I like. Know? It's just, you know, Look, in case so you're you wondering, know. I'm more into voluptuous women. Uh, yeah. Not so. <laughs> the, voluptuous. <laughs> the, uh, voluptuous. Your petite que queens, like not for me, you know? Like, yeah. like it, everyone has a right to a personal preference. Sure. Like, it's not a crime. No. It's just like a weird no, move to show up on the bachelorette and just start like flying yeah. that flag. Like I don't like really. When it's not the one that's the lead. Like, yeah. He acted like he was like, oh, thank God someone finally asked me this question. So, yeah. Yeah. Just so you no. Huh. Like, Don't you I hate skinny for? people? Yeah. Like, I hate them. I hate uh, them. I yeah. thought that the tennis pro, Joey, might have been getting the rose. Yeah, they had a good convo. He was holding her hand. Do it was we like, think he's a secret fuck boy? He's a I tennis pro, pro Everyone in on this show is a secret fuck boy. I right. play tennis. I think tennis pros are fuck boys. Yeah. Because I think they're like, oh, let me help you. I think tennis well, pros like. Well, first of all, everyone who go, gets on the show, every man that is cast on this show is with almost, almost without exception, six foot or above. If you're six two, you're average height. Yeah. Six two on this show. Yeah. They, and this seems to be a season that's even particularly tall. Giant. Giant men. Giant. Xavier is six six and he is. 
He's oh. among friends. You know, the Xavier cl- six, 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 the knitter. Yeah. The knitter. <laughs> He's the, are you kidding me? <laughs> he must take He's so, perfect. It must take him so long to knit something for himself. He looks so good in that purple uh, he's hat. He's so cute. Purple, yeah. And he plays the ukulele. Yeah. That I felt know. like an advertisement he's for he's pussy. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like, <laughs> it did. It felt like a, this whole package is an advertisement for pussy. I'm six foot six. I'm the, I work in medical and I knit and I play, and I play the ukulele. My mom has an autoimmune disease yeah, that inspired my career. This was an advertisement for I pussy look, and it worked. I look good in fluorescent colors. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it worked. I, I'm like, he he's set for life. I mean, even though he would have been anyway, that whole package was his like, I've got 30 seconds to advertise for all the gals on earth. It worked. Should I yeah. DM him right now? Yeah. yeah by all means. <laughs> uh, what should I say? How old is he? But, he's 27. But all, Great. Like, listen, Perfect. If you're if you're six foot or above yeah. as a man, chances are you're a fuckboy. In this day and age, it's 20. You looked at me like I'll cross. I'm just saying. Six foot or above. You, you looked at me crossly. Yeah, crossly. You just looked at me. Are you cross with me? Are you cross? Uh, are you cross? I'm a divorcee. I'm a divorcee. I'm very cross with all of you. It's one of that kind of 80 20. It's just like the conversations I have with uh, most women is that if you are above six foot, you are given incredible access and you are incredible forgiveness. Like there is. I think that's accurate. I, I think it's the greatest privilege that I have. And I, as a privileged man I, in a lot of areas, I feel like being 6'2". I think that's accurate. And and so they get so many chances. And yeah. so when He's you're out there the, dating yeah. and you and you have all, you're on the dating apps and you're 6'2". And it, so all the 5'10 or 5'11 kings or whatever, like they they get their pick of the litter. And it's as hard not to be a fuck boy when you... Ha, you know, it's like you have 20 people saying, I want you. Agree to agree. Yeah. Agree to agree. I uh, agree with you. Like, so everyone who gets cast in the show is basically a fuckboy. Yeah. Whether they think it, oh, they're a well-intentioned fuckboy, but yeah. a fuckboy nonetheless. Agree to agree. Yeah. I also think the fact that they showed Joey talking about how tall the men were. I'm like, okay, they're trying to frame him as an underdog because he's so clearly a dreamboat. And he's probably 6'2". And my favorite thing about Joey like is that he's it. from Philly and he lives in Hawaii. Like, that is an amazing combination to me. I also just feel like, I feel like Philly and Boston are twin flames where it's like, we'll yell at each other with the are same amount. Are you Boston? Amount. Yes. Yeah. Where? Jamaica Plain. Excuse me. I was born in Fall River. Excuse me. No Learned to way. drive on 128. Oh, everything happened in Massachusetts. We'll talk about that later. Um, Yeah, they are twin flames. They're like, who would you say about my cousin? It's that. Yeah, exactly. Like there's like a fire and a passion. So yeah. the fact that he comes from that up- upbringing and found his way to Hawaii where he's like my so favorite. clearly pursuing bliss. And, my, and, and women at the hotel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, there was a shot of him. It, they were all standing around, you know, with their glasses. Maybe they were toasting to charity. And it was kind of focusing in on Joey's face. I'm like, he is so much more tan than everybody else there. He's yeah, adorable. All, many of them from the Midwest or the Northeast. And it's they're coming off winter. Yeah. yeah it's, we have uh, James and his donuts. Oh, with the cider. He's, with his Which mom's one? note. James? The guy with the note. He had, he's a lawyer. His mom wrote the note that was so cute. That he's almost a felt, boy. it almost felt fake. Their farm, they, they, they had the donuts and the, it was from their farm and the mom wrote her the note. Yeah. That was it, an ad for the Midwest. That was an ad for the Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> it almost Xavier felt, was an ad for pussy. And yeah. this man was an ad for family values. Legit. <laughs> an ad for pussy. And it worked. I just can't, oh. I can't unsee when we were going through their bios with Elise Guilfoyle in our other episode. I can't unsee the visual of, oh, and Chris will go to James's family apple orchard and just jump for all the apples. <laughs> oh, I'm just envisioning yeah. Chris just jumping up for joy. Yeah. Oh, uh, Chris. Chris. I did. Okay. One thing I will say about Chris. Yeah. In his package, he said the line, I hope to train the person who beats my record. And I yeah. thought that was a lovely sentiment. So I did want to give Chris a tiny bit of credit for that statement. He, uh, Chris is, um, he's different. Look at their next to each other, Caleb and Chris. You know, to be that great at anything, you, yeah. you kind of have to be different. Yeah. Chris and is the goat of jumping. I bet Chris <laughs> is super obnoxious. Oh, for sure. Constantly just, and I, I don't even mean that as like a, <laughs> criticism but like you have to be wired differently to, just, to decide to be a world record jumper because you've been jumping on you just did that for fun to start and then you couldn't stop but <laughs> if i was charity in that moment when they're all standing around watching this quote-unquote show of him jumping like i i just kind of could look at her face and be like yeah okay so we're at a cocktail party you're here to potentially find a wife and instead of talking to me or trying to see if we have a connection you're just 
jumping on furniture yeah, for like, the men. He's, very... a, he's literally a one trick pony. Yeah. yeah. I just feel like he's like a combination of Justin and Joey from Rachel and Gabby's season. That's like so both good. physically and like attitude wise. Do you remember the twins? Oh yeah. The twin guys yes. from Paradise. Yes. Who like had, yeah. And oh my God, from Connecticut. It. If you yeah. like combine them to two because th those were, th yeah, you're those right. two were the exception. They yeah, got on because they were twins, not because yeah. they were tall. Right. And, uh, you're and, right. and Chris is a giant. He's another, he was a huge strapping man. Chris? I, they're all, like, again, compared to I Xavier. I thought he was a little shrimp guy. Maybe Did compared to him? Xavier. I mean, he had biceps, but I didn't think height-wise he was that. I, I bet he's 6'2". Man. Thick. They got Wait, her. And then there's Sean. Bring up Sean. Which one is Sean? No, oh. bring up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sean. Sean is seven-year-old Allie. Oh. But unfortunately for Sean, he didn't grow into that forehead. <laughs> uh, I am so excited. <laughs> look at that. No. If no, the cutest. If you're watching oh on God, YouTube, if you're not cutest. watching on YouTube, you can no. go check it out. Oh go my to God. YouTube immediately. Twins. That is the cutest person. Oh my <laughs> God. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Allie, the cutest. <laughs> Absolutely. No rain shall fall on young Allie. Does want to put Allie under my wing. Look at that little face. And to be fair, my mom tried to do kind of like a side swept bang no, situation. No, I see that. I see it. I redid the barrette before yeah. the photo was you, taken. You so needed it to be perfect. You said pull it back. I really said, let them see it. Yeah. <laughs> I got to go see all of it. I would never be, I would never look at you and be aware of your forehead. <laughs> Well, now. not now. She grew into it. It's all I can see now. She was all brain back then. <laughs> That's right. By the way, my brother's a genius. He's got a giant head. My mother would find him as a little boy resting his head on a table. And she'd be like, are you okay? And he would just look at her and go, it's so heavy. It's so hard <laughs> to hold it up. This guy's a genius. He's killing it. He's killing it. He's had two, two startups. He's doing great. Oh, that incredible. is heavy as the head that wears the crown. Yeah. Heavy as the head that has the brain. Heavy as the head that has the, the brain. brain. Not shocking that he seems to be a golfer. Yeah. He's got the look of a he, golfer. Yeah. He is grew up on a con in a, at a country club. At a country club. For yeah. sure. Look at that hair. Yeah. I mean, that's almost like a 1940s movie starlet bang coming in. Like a Wow. What sucks for Sean is that he probably in person, again, is another handsome devil. That's. And, I, and yet he's one of these guys who shows up to these shows and just realizes, wow, oh, like I should never leave my my, my small pond. My, 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 my pond. pond. Yeah. June shine. That sound like you, Nick? It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Amanda and I love June shine because they have drinks for both of us. And I feel like we love a good canned cocktail, especially in the summertime. You're p going on picnics. You're going to the beach. You're going to people's houses. You want to bring something, but you don't want to have to bring a bunch of spare ingredients or a bunch of heavy bottles. But their canned cocktails are so perfect. I know Amanda loves their hard kombucha. I myself, huge fan of their passion fruit vodka soda. It is not overly sweet, but it's just, I don't know. It's a perfect balance. It's everything you want in a canned cocktail. It's awesome for summertime. Also, the margaritas uh, ones are great. Margaritas, such a, like, and that's a, like all, all these drinks, but especially the margaritas, like, you know, it's like, it takes a lot of ingredients and time to make these mm -hmm. cocktails. And like, now I just grab some June shine and away you go. Unlike traditional canned cocktails that typically have 20 grams of sugar or more tons of calories and cheap liquor. Not June shine. No, 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 no. Premium ingredients that taste amazing and have no added sugar. No added sugar. Bring a pack of June shine or get especially like one of their mixed pack because then you have something for everybody, whether it's tequila, vodka, rum, try it all. And the good news is June shine can be found in over 10,000 stores across the country. It's available at all the retailers you're already visiting for groceries and alcohol like Whole Foods, Target, Ralph's, Vons, Albertsons, Kroger's, Wegmans, Total Wine, BevMo, Safeway, and more. We worked out a special offer for our listeners. That's right. At any store, you can buy one June Sign package and get the second for only one penny. That's $12 to $20 in value. I recommend trying one of their best-selling variety packs. It's a great way to try all their delicious flavors. Go to juneshine.com slash V-I-A-L-L. Text them a photo of your receipt. They will Venmo you immediately. It's that easy, truly. That's juneshine.com slash V-I-A-L-L. J-U-N-E-S-H-I-N-E dot com slash V-I-A-L-L. That's juneshine.com slash V-I-A-L-L. Need a break from reality? Feeling down? Well, cheer up, Buttercup, because Paramount Plus has your great reality escape. Escape into new seasons of the biggest competitions on TV like Survivor, Big Brother, and the Challenge World Championship from the boldest personalities like The Family Stallone, RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars, and Queen of the Universe, and the wildest drama, 
like Are You The One, plus hundreds of previous seasons all streaming at your fingertips. See, reality ain't so bad. Your great reality escape is with Paramount+. Plus. Paramount+, Plus, stream now. I have found, and I'm sure you've met 18,000 more people than I have, but the contestants that I've met, some of the ones on the show that are like the C team, when you meet them in person, they're fucking gorgeous. And you're like, wow, like the, the level, the gene pool of like, you know, just better looking than any actor or actress that I've, I mean, Bachelor and Bachelor contestants are just better looking than mm-hmm. anyone on earth. Part of it is the height. <laughs> Part of it is the height. Because it's just, there's a presence. Like when you meet someone who, like that Caleb guy, yeah. who we compared him to the cavemen in the Geico commercials in the bios. <laughs> okay, like I that's, think we is stretching. I you. compared yes. him. I've been looking at him. He's Royal got a Wings. Jesus shirt on in his photo. But, and so he's like, like sexy but Jesus. But in his intro package, when he we watched him getting dressed, I was like, oh, yeah, pretty, oh, yeah. pretty handsome. But then yeah, he, agreed. About, he's six five. But I bet he's I he's bet six he, five. He must be because he was about the same height as that Caleb. giant like, man is twenty four. I That's bet he <laughs> cleans the fuck up out he, in the wild. He's in Orlando. Yeah, he like, is and just the presence killing. of meeting someone and of that stature and the yeah. energy they bring. Like, women want to climb up, scamper up and down on him like a Reese's monkey no, climbing a jungle gym. It is the, it is so different than like Hollywood because I've been to like I got I found myself in like at, at parties I was surprised I was at sure, sure. but then you're like oh that's so and so and you're just like oh that's what i'm saying you know because they're like five eight or so they can fit in frame oh, but, and, but gorgeous face, yeah. faces but that's like, what i'm saying yeah. when you meet the contestants you're just like giants oh. yeah you're just like okay i would never have looked twice yeah it's uh it is my ex was six four and uh and i do think but he wasn't a fuck boy he was not a fuck boy but i do think like you do get certain things on earth when you're very tall as a man. I have a theory about tall people is that they're further away. And when people are further away, they seem more attractive. Interesting. You're not seeing them up close and personal. You're well, not there's a power dynamic clothes. of having to go like this. It's, it, you know, as I, I rarely am, as a 6'2 person, I'm usually taller than people. But yeah, when I am next to a guy who's taller than me, it, it's intimidating. It's yeah. a, there's a natural like oh fuck you're like you look up yeah. and there's a is that why you're in love with Nate? Uh, well he's just gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. He's, but the height doesn't help. It doesn't hurt, hurt him. Yeah. yeah, like it doesn't make him less hot. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> you're in love with Nate. I mean he's just a total babe. babe. He's gorgeous. He's like he's a total babe. Yeah, there's there's hot and there's like holy shit. Holy fuck! <laughs> fuck you're hot. Yeah. <laughs> um, Aaron S brought a like a regular candle and was like. I hoped we could make a wish together. And I was like, when you blow out all candles, do you get a wish? I thought it was just the birthday one. That's and a great point. I wanted to ask whether that was. That's a good point. That's a great point. Do all candles let you make wishes? Birthdays and soul cycle candles. Other than soul that. Soul cycle. Candles. Soul cycle. Yeah. That's the most LA thing you've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like if you are a genie or if you <laughs> bestow, a, I think if you decide it's special, then yeah. Is he the one who said, I think I'm winning? I don't know, but he is. We we got yeah. we heard a lot from him. Like he was doing a lot of narration this yeah, episode. He seems to be, he's going to be one of those guys who goes like halfway through the season because right. he always has an opinion. He's like about, peanut gallery, yeah, right? And and those are useful. You need a good narrate, yeah. an entertaining narrator. I want to talk about coin flip guy. Please, yeah. I found the move once. Okay, smart. Clearly, he bought a a a coin with two heads. You know, and like, but to do it twice for a kiss. That give me a little ick. You right? can't get a kiss on your own. Yeah, it just yeah. felt a little like, and I just didn't feel like she was dying to kiss. And what him. was the other option? He was like, or you play piano or something. Like the other option was just like. I'm always also suspicious of somebody who shows their musical talent the first time. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. Just in general. Yeah, yeah you have to be John Mayer, <laughs> Harry Styles. You, you whip can... out a part at a guitar. Uh... <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> a guitar at a party. <laughs> you a par a guitar you whip out a guitar at a party and it's like guilty until proven innocent. Like you are coming, you are actively like in oh a deficit God. that you have to claw your way back from. And it's even worse when you have the like national attention thing. Yeah. The it's- other thing that he said in his package that I thought was kind of wild was he said, you can connect with anyone at the beach. And I was like, what does that mean? But he didn't even sing. He like recited a 
haiku. He was talking. <laughs> yeah, it was like at a jazz bar when they're like, yeah, you know, yeah he like smooth And don't talk. forget to tip your waiters. <laughs> <laughs> it's really great to be here. I'm the bachelorette. My Instagram handle. <laughs> yeah, it felt a little thirsty. For all you John Henry fans out there, it seems like, oh, it's not looking good. I actually thought he didn't make the first cut. Which one was he? Turns out he did. Underwater welder came in with like this. Helmet. But like, look but at he him. Was look just like putting cutie. a montage. Yeah, he's adorable. He's and adorable. He was like an internet fan favorite. He's got like a, a tattoo sleeve, you know, kind of a very blue collar job. Yeah, he's a cutie patootie. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, seems to be going nowhere fast. It just could float to the surface. He could float to the yeah. They have that sometimes. Ariel on Zach's season, we didn't really see her until Love. week six. Huge or fan of Ariel. Yeah, mm. but yeah. she floated to the surface. She would have been a cool bachelorette. Too. I know. We were saying. obsessed with her family. Her mom, so cool, didn't say one fucking word. Kept those sunglasses on. <laughs> Powerful. Her brother, mouth kissing, here for it. But, and we had the pleasure of uh, interviewing uh, her. I she, love her. She, maybe she is, in fact, the more boring and more grounded. I have really high hopes for Charity now. You know, I, I, was, I was so bummed. Like, again, nothing, this is not a personal thing. I, no, I'm no, just no, looking no. through the lens of like, are you going to be messy and entertaining? Thank you. You know, are you going to have an opinion? Right. You know, are you going to see some of your toxic traits that we all have on the yeah, big screen? Or the little screen. And uh, Ariel, which, how does she go? Ariel. Ariel. Ariel? Is it Ariel? Ariel. Uh, Ariel. 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 Uh, Ariana. Ariel. It sounds like that. Fuck it up. Very seems put together and, and grounded. And, and, and when she was here, she talked about past relationships that she had learned from. And She seems healthy. Yeah, yeah but so she also cool. sounded like she wasn't really still dealing with whatever she went through. Like, yeah, yeah I was hurt, She's... this sucked, I dealt with it, I was fucked up. But like, you know, it, it is what it is. That's right. It's the difference between pointing out a scar and being like, do you want to see what's under the band-aid? Yeah. Like, you know, it's like, it is healed. And That's with, key. And with Charity, it's like still pussing. It's oh like my she, God. she needs to like change bandages every four hours still when it comes to that wound. Right. <laughs> yeah. And Brayden's like, it's not going to hurt because I'm going to cut in the exact same place it already is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I never do this. <laughs> I like John. He was, uh, I really noticed him. There was something about him where I was like, you're a little cutie and the way He's you're being like a football player, Nick. Oh, he looks like Joey Harrington. For from anyone who knows Detroit about Lions. from the Detroit Lions, <laughs> also cute. Oregon, the Oregon Ducks. I thought he yeah. was cute. He's close with his sister. I liked the fortune cookie. Yeah. yeah. I thought he felt like a real guy. He he didn't feel like um he was chasing Instagram followers. Like he felt like just like a good dude. Yeah. Unlike Brayden. Well, props to Josh because it wasn't until this moment that I realized he was the Harvard grad. I so like Josh. Didn't yeah. mention that he was the Harvard grad, unlike right, unlike Bennett, Bennett who that that was his whole identity. He, he didn't mention it the whole like not once. No. It was just on his little I, I, I yeah. liked Josh. I really liked that he asked. Charity, like before putting his ha her hand on his heart, he was like, "Do you mind?" Like he just like checked in in a way that I thought was very like respectful, and I was like, "You're reading the room, sir." He had a good disposition, and I found him kind of warm and engaging. I liked his personality. Yeah, Back I would go on a second date with Josh. Yeah, I'm clearly obsessed with size, but uh, of, of the tallness. But just for reference of how how tall all these people are, Caleb K, bring him up, was an offensive lineman. For the Auburn Tigers, Division One SEC S SEC football. That is just a step below the NFL. Offensive lineman. Is that huge? He he didn't look. You would never have known seeing him in this group of men. I think these guys are fucking huge. They're huge. I think. Well, the casting department. I think they did a good job. Like this is literally. I'm gonna just. I think it's the best group of men we've had since Caitlyn season. Mm, wow. 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 I'm just going to say it early. I don't uh, know anything about them. I feel like these are a good group of guys. Hannah Brown had some character. I was going to say. That, that was, was a great Hannah season. Brown was well, a great we had season. Luke moving. Tyler. Oh. And other I, names I, that I'm Tyler. Not and, and, and this is why this might, I have high hopes for charity because the thing that makes, I, I guess, Bachelor or Bachelorette uh, both, but I think more with the Bachelorette. Yeah. What makes an amazing Bachelorette season is when the lead really likes someone you fucking hate. Yes. And, that's right. Brown. And, that's yeah, right. Hannah Brown, Luke. And with Brayden, uh, he, he's giving a lot of douchebag. Yeah. And, she, and she seems really into him. The first impression, Rose, historically with Bachelorettes is Who wins? significant. Who wins? Significant. And she was giddy. She really... Oh. Like, 
oh my god when they came back in yeah after giving she's it to like him, laughing i'm like oh my god like they just fucked herself. in the school closet yeah i also think like when you kiss someone on night one there's a little bit of like oh my god we're like you're kind of co she kissed a lot she, of people she did some kissing though good a for lot her of people. yeah but it wasn't but she really liked them. I'm gonna say this to you, and I've said it before, and I don't want to flatter you, but I, I bet I've said this. I think every time I've been on here, I don't think I've seen a tail wag like that since Caitlin had you come back at that event, and she's like, "It's Nick," and she was. <laughs> I, I, again, I hadn't seen I hadn't seen Andy season. I didn't know who you were. It was my first season ever watching, and all, my introduction to her was like watching a woman. Go from looking at one person and being like, holy fuck. <laughs> and I felt like that last night. Charity had that she, for Braden. She, she was, was like, ah, she was quaking. She was like, bro, get the fuck out of Oh, you're telling me he was bragging because he liked me. That's a green flag. Let's go. Pedal to the metal all in. Thanks for giving me the information that you're trying to warn me about. And I'm going to twist it to make it good news. And what do we think <laughs> about that? What do we think about the fact that like. You know, you're her brother who she claims is her best friend. It's not like this is my annoying brother who I know loves me. She, per, per her words, her best friend. He her, protects me. I protect him. Yeah, her words. And he said he said all the right things. I'm just going to tell you yeah. some observations. Clearly, you yeah. are capable of making your own decisions. You're an empowered person, an empowered woman. I trust you. to. And so she's like, you know what? I don't even have to give him this first impression rose. There's there's 19 there's 18 other roses I yeah. get to give out. But you know what? I'm not only going I'm going to basically say fuck you. Fuck fuck the brother. Fuck you? the brother. Fuck, fuck you. your judgment. Fuck all y'all. I don't care what you saw while I was busy doing whatever the fuck. Fuck I, you. Yeah. And you could tell her brother was trying to he was very careful with he his words. He was gentle. He was, he was so gentle. Earnest. He didn't He's want so sweet. he didn't want to, to like be so overbearing with his advice. He was adorable. Like, so he, he pulled back a little bit. Yeah. And again, you would think that the the family therapist yeah. would pick up on those cues that her brother might be like just because I would be like, wait, it seems like you're like trying to tell me something, but you don't want to tell me something. So like, right. just just tell me what just tell me what you actually think, because I want to know, because I want to make the best decisions for myself. That's what I thought Charity uh, Charity would say, but she was like, yeah, no, no, she was annoyed. La 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 la. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> yeah, he's so hot. He's so hot. He's so hot. It made him more appealing. It made him like the forbidden fruit. Oh my yeah. god. Question. Yeah. yeah. Did you guys think once he did that that she was going to cut him, or like, did you think? Did you think that, because sometimes the lead like gets, him. but maybe give him the last row. Yeah, like make yeah, him feel I better, like you're on watch, impression. you know. Yeah. But keep in mind, Charity, I, am, 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 I, am I remembering it right? But like her past story of infidelity included like her admitting and, and graciously admitting, I've made the same, same mistake in the past of, of giving the person who broke her heart way too many chances. Oh, yeah. yeah. Who so, hasn't? Again, we all have. And again, and this is not a criticism. Of ch I, I've yeah, made yeah. so many terrible choices oh, for myself. Yeah. And, Me too. You know, we all know, like, on this show, I give a lot of relationship advice, but I've made so many bad choices yeah, for myself. Sure. Uh, you know, and so, We're human beings. Yeah, but Charity, she seems to be someone who's, you know, may give great advice, but, like, ooh, like when it that's, comes to her journey, like... That's fun. Yeah, it's so fun for us. That's so yeah. fun. Thank God, right? <laughs> yeah, Thank yeah, God. Thank God. Oh. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's important to take air, care of your skin when it comes to keeping that youthful appearance. It's something I know a lot about because I don't look my age. Ha 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 ha. Yay for me. But hey, listen, it's not just jeans. It's, it's self-care. Taking care of your skin is super important. Are you tired of cycling through the endless amount of trending skincare products that all claim to smooth, wrinkles, firm skin, and give you a youthful glow? but don't really deliver results at the end of the bottle? Well, support from today's episode comes from One Skin, founded by a team of four female PhD-level longevity scientists with over 15 years of experience studying the biology of aging. After testing thousands of peptides, they've discovered OS1. The OS1 peptide is scientifically proven to target aged, which are also called senescent cells, the main source of skin aging, and actually reduces the biological age of skin by several years. So the flagship product, the OS1 Face, is clinically validated to improve firmness, fine lines, and overall tone and appearance. Unlike most skincare products on the market, One Skin works deeper than surface level and is designed to promote healthier skin from the inside out. Is your current skin regimen clinically proven to reverse the molecule age of your skin? Probably not. If not, give One Skin a try and see the difference for yourself. One Skin is for everyone that wants to prevent or reverse the signs of aging. 
with a groundbreaking approach. One skin addresses skin health at the molecular level, targeting the root causes of aging so skin behaves, feels, and appears younger. It's time for you to experience a new skin health routine at a discounted rate today. Get 15% off with code VIALL at oneskin.co. That's oneskin.co. That's 15% off at oneskin.co with code VIALL. We only have one body, one skin, and only you can choose to make it better. Age healthy with one skin. Well, it's the classic case of really great at giving advice, cannot take any of, you know, goes just out to the other person, cannot receive it for herself. Yeah. And maybe, you know, because like, well, if I can't fix you, what's the point of going to school? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I like a project. Yeah. And that's the thing. I bet Charity thrived in school. Like, I bet she was coming in with color-coded notes and the most, like, I bet she has the best handwriting. Oh, like, I bet Charity's penmanship yeah. is elite. She fucking out when she was coloring in a coloring book in grade yeah. school. She was like that outline that yeah. you have, like the nice shade yes. in the middle, like perfect every time. Her suitcase is perfectly rolled and, oh and little God. dividers. She uses packing cubes. She uses and it, mm. and they're not jammed shut like mine that are like sitting on them and like no, it's like just the right amount, mm. just to carry on for a one week trip, not like, traveling like you're on a world tour for two years. <laughs> The shoes and that curling irons. Do you think she likes Xavier as much as we do? Um, I hope not, so that I can have him. Can I see Xavier? He's the the advertisement for pussy. Oh my god, Xavier! Xavier, he was so adorable. And okay, do you think it was a full pussy advertisement? Because I was like, you don't. When he added the ukulele, that's when I was like, I believed the knitting. I was like, you don't need the knitting. I'm already in on you, Xavier. Then you add the ukulele. And I'm like, it feels a little much. Is this an advertisement for pussy? It's working. Yeah. I'm buying the product. But he's but also, like, and he's, he's smooth. He's got game. When he was talking yeah. to Charity, because there's a lot of these guys who are tall, who are good looking. Yeah. And I'll never forget my first, I, I remember on the Andy season, I remember being so nervous. Yeah. I get in the limo. I'm thinking these these are going to be the most eligible men in America. And yeah. Like, who the fuck am I? You know, I'm just like some schlup from fucking Wisconsin. You know. And I showed up, and I remember getting in the limo. Where do you, where do they take you from? Where are you coming from to go to the mansion? There's a like a hotel staging. You know, and they okay. have you kind of lined up. You oh know, literally, they bring you down from your hotel room, and then Terrifying. you have you lined up for depending on who's in your limo. And they're like, don't turn around. So you can see the, the if you're. If you're in front, you can't see anyone. If you're in back, you can see the guy's back. You've never seen or met any of these never, guys. And then yet. you're all mic'd up. And they're like, don't turn around because Whoa. they want they want in, they want reactions on camera. They want to they want to capture all the moments, right? So you get in the limo. Whoa. And there is this, uh, you know, some really good looking guys. And one guy, I remember being like, really super good looking. Opened up his mouth. I was like, I'm totally fine some of these yeah. men have a swag of a tree yeah no uh, the <laughs> majority of, uh, more, uh, majority <laughs> of these guys they're... on the show are just like tall weirdos yeah. and absolutely <laughs> no game because they don't have because they're tall so yeah, it doesn't matter they absolutely have no game but but uh, xavier he oh. does he was he oh my was God. Some what game. did you do when you got out i blacked out i was, it was terrible did you have like a quirk no it seemed to work but uh better I, than flipping a coin yeah. i actually when it comes to like people coming out of the limos i i think it I actually regret not doing anything. I didn't mind the coin the first time. It was the second time for the kiss. Yeah. yeah I think it's a, that's the time to do some goofy shit. Yeah. And whatever the fuck, whatever, you know. One time, do you remember one time a contestant, it was on The Bachelor. I don't remember which season, but she walked in, like didn't say anything. It just kept going. And it was like very powerful. Like Wait, it was oh, a shockingly do. memorable I don't entrance. remember that. Yeah. Who did that? I don't, I don't think she went name. anywhere, but she just Because she didn't say in. her name. She just walked right in. And it was like, it was, it's interesting, like the kinds of things that make an impression out of the limo where like, we've seen so many gimmicks, but it's like stuff like John's like fortune cookie is like just cute. really touching sometimes. It was so but that's cute. That's why I actually, I don't, I don't remember it, but like hearing about it, I, I think that was a bad move. Yeah. That would piss me off. It comes it's across a risky so, one. It's risky. And like, yeah, I, I think I, goofy and endearing and like. You know, JoJo, commonly known as like a, one of the more popular bachelorettes, came out with like a fucking un- like a horse on her head. Yeah. You know, and it's just like that's the time to be goofy. It's not necessarily the oh time to come out and peacock. I fear that the producers would be able to talk me into something so brutal. They'd be yeah. like, "You're fun. 
But you should. I'm like, I like, guess. You have I, a great I, sense of humor. I and like, we want to leave I, with that. I fear I would get. I'm like, okay. I fear I could be manipulated in the same way that if I went to prison, I would be somebody's bitch immediately. I could fully get manipulated into doing something. I'm like, okay. Like, and then feel like, oh, why did I get talked into that? Yeah. I would I, be nervous. I wonder if how uh, Charity, uh, got another good sign too, is she seems to be like, Open to making good TV. You know what? I agree with you on that. You know? Yeah. I got to say, I was pleasantly surprised of like, oh, this is going to be a fun season. Yeah. Like, I felt like, oh, we might have a really good full season this year. I, I'm, I've been a uh, spoiler. I've seen the next episode. Is it good? Yeah. Is it so good? She and Joey have like a really like major tongue kiss. Did you see? Oh my gosh. It? And he it was, was up. It's like. He yeah, licked it, her face. It's like. Uh, it was yeah. like a real like. Like I've not been so aware of someone's tongue in a while. <laughs> yeah. But like it, it, the. 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 Uh, the. The. The, the messiness of charity doesn't go away. Oh, that's Yeah, fun. she seems like her picker is so off. I like that yeah. for her. Love that for us. I hate it for her. I mean, I feel like she has nice guys, uh, some of them, some of them. So maybe in the end, maybe she'll have her like, you know, little spring break and then end up with the nice guy. They well, never pick who you want them no, to pick. No, they never do. The it never has. Never. Never. Yeah. Well, part of it too is it's like, and I, I will say is, I always hated it when someone would be like, you should have picked so and so. I'm like, no, I shouldn't have. Yeah. Trust me. Like you don't you know, know Jack about like the conversations I had with this person. Yeah. Like, ugh, you know, and like, so in fairness to, yeah, it's like. Well, they never pick who they, who we want them to pick because the show is. Purposefully trying to. Make us yeah. want her to pick someone. Yes. And yeah. like give us options and be torn. And, and get yeah. us yeah. invested in the person who's the number one candidate for Bachelor and all that mm. good stuff. For Exactly. Yeah. Which, by the way, I think is going to be Joey. Yeah. Nice. yeah, adorable. We're team Joey over here. Yeah, I really liked Joey. And Xavier gets to go to paradise at a minimum if he no, doesn't win. I, oh, I just don't want Xavier to disappear. He won't. He won't. Oh, there's not a chance. <laughs> I'm all right. It's I like we have not a chance <laughs> that Xavier's going to just after that advertisement. No <laughs> way is he going to disappear. Uh, not to get dark, but most likely, if we're doing uh, great. Um, what do they call them? Superlatives, or whatever. Yeah. Most likely to have a scandal come oh, out about them, fun. Uh, like a Reddit kind of accusation yeah, of for something, it. some a t- old tweet. Mm. Yeah. You know, <laughs> who who do we think? Aaron S. Can I see that person? Oh yeah, Ooh. yeah, that feels right. He kind of looks like Rami Malek, mm. also from San Diego, but he is a firefighter. He's a hero. I liked the guy from Nigeria, Doton. I thought he was sweet. I liked his package. I thought I felt like he was saw charity and was there. Like I actually want to oh. come specifically meet charity. Yes. Wait, he's the one where I said I really felt for him, and then I changed my mind. What did he say? Well, the <laughs> thing he said in his package that like really endeared me to him was he was like, "I've always been seen by my friends and family as the cool kid, but I don't feel cool." Aww. And he said it in a way that felt really genuine. Yes. And we when we just seen his limo exit where he's so suave, and charity like after he leaves was like, "He's a charmer for sure." Like yeah. he clearly has this like presence and energy yeah, and adorable. so yeah it's like nice to hear that he's like a human with insecurity what is an integrative medicine specialist it it's- can help people who have symptoms such as fatigue anxiety and pain seeks to understand you as a whole person different types of therapy to heal your mind body and spirit yeah so like acupuncture okay in like other like kind of like venturing out of like kind of hospital doctor's office i just want to say joe looks like a joe yeah he does that is the most Joe face. Ever. Hey, yeah. hey, you know, it's Joe. Also, oh, was, I thought it was San Diego. Question, how old is Charity and what is the age spread of these guys? She's what's the youngest, what's 20, the oldest? 27. And who's the youngest guy, who's the oldest guy? Looks like youngest might be 24, okay. oldest is 33. Okay. Yeah, Pilot Pete. Another Pilot Pete. She, and Aaron, Aaron is 33 as well. Yeah, I say young. Yeah, they're young. Yeah. Yeah. Young bunch. It's young. For her to be 27 and be, I mean, don't want to yuck her yum. She's into 24-year-old men, but I wouldn't even date a year younger than me. She might not know at this point. They don't come out and be like, hi, I'm Aaron, 27. So obvious, though. He screams 24. You wouldn't date a younger guy? No, because I have, and they babies. They are little baby boys. You got to live and learn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, But I'm with you on that. Who else? Any other people? Notable characters? We had Taylor. The, is he gone? Is he make it? Who got kicked off? Like 
I couldn't even the like, jumper. Oh, is oh, he gone? Yes. He's gone, but we kept the wrestler. Yes. They're like, you're going to have a jump home. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to book you a flight. Down the highway. We still have the Harvard guy. I want more from him. I'm Josh. I wanted mm-hmm. to have a convo. I wanted her to talk. I mean, he's probably not going to win, but I, I feel like he's going to make friends with the guys and maybe make it, maybe make it to Europe and then get cut. He gets to a jump on a Hilton bed. Like group date in Europe before yeah, be getting like, the I love this Hilton. Do you and- think... Uh, <laughs> Do you think, granted, there seems to be a lot of a lot of jocks and and a, and a handful of guys, at least with like careers that seem to suggest intelligence. But do you think, in general, charity is gonna is attracted more to a cerebral uh, man or more of a kind of simpler, kind of athletic, you know, and and where she's the kind of intellectual of the couple? Well, I will say that Braden, at least in person seemed like he he had personality and like had he 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 was able to like vibe and have some like 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 interact and chat like i feel like they have to have personality rather than just i don't think she would go for just like a jock that didn't have like i think she needs a little bit of like sparkle i think like her optimal one is where she feels like she knows their flaws yeah like someone who like she is emotionally intelligent and then like available to like a high degree but there's also a way where she's like oh but i i know what your achilles heel is and i yeah. can work with it like someone where she feels like she has a really good understanding of them versus someone who seems really perfect in that capacity it might be like more of like a but there's something and i don't know what it is so i'm freaking the out the devil you know yeah I, I feel like it really is her feeling safe of That's like a, yeah. so like joey like like the guys is like oh you're not gonna hurt me like it's the feeling safe seems to be the like real sweet spot of like getting in there. Yeah, but like she has shown, <clears throat> she has a track record. <laughs> yeah. Of of misreading. Misreading what safety really yeah is. Yeah. What do you think about the intellectual or the jock? I think she, if she had to lean one way, I think she leans towards the dum dums. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. yeah that is That's fun. fun. That's really fun. Yeah. I support women feeling like they're superior in a relationship. I love that. I'm trying to think if I ever dated charity. any dumb dumbs. I ever date any dumb I've definitely had crushes on dumb dumbs. I don't think I fully dated dumb dumbs, but I definitely like had some real crushes on some dumb But I think that's where it's gotten her. Because I feel like that false sense of security, right? Yeah. Like, you know, she feels like the the boss and the relationship. And then like, it wouldn't shock me if her ex who cheated on her multiple times, like she, it's like she couldn't figure it out. And that's why she kept like going back because she's like, how can this person who I know is objectively dumber than me? Yeah. Like still fucking with me. And why can I crack the code? Right. And I feel like it's probably has more to do with that. And I think that's where she gets herself stuck. Do you think she went, became a therapist? after the relationship i don't know i don't know if one has anything to do with the other i think she could be just generally interested in like social dynamics right and and, you know like listen as someone who's made some really bad decisions in his own life like my my kind of indoctrination into like this type of like topics and discussions was like self-preservation for me to like get over my bullshit and like to heal from some of my bad choices of the rumination i had and and some of the relationships so Maybe a little bit of both, but I've always generally been interested in that type of yeah. stuff. And I think, yeah, I kind of like found it after I like kind of did some like self-help on, yeah. on my life. So you know, maybe it's a combination of both. I think it's probably always an interest of her. Are you a ruminator? Oh, yeah. Professional. Yeah. yeah. My, World ranked, actually. My, <laughs> my boyfriend is. Yeah. I, I, I see that as hard. Like that is hard to be have that happen. Oh, Natalie is that like a running joke at home. Where I'll be pacing and yeah. outside, and she's like, "Who are you talking to?" You know, <laughs> like that. <laughs> he literally gets like ten thousand steps, like in the house. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm I'm like pacing back and forth. Yeah, and you should literally see me like have like it looks like yeah, it looks like I might be talking to yeah my friend. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, no, except it's an adversary of the mind. Yeah, yeah uh, that I know. Blame I'm just my, working shit out. Trust yeah. me, my brain can take me hostage too. My <laughs> yeah. brain can be. My friend, I'm like, my friend always says, like, your brain can be a dangerous neighborhood. Don't go in there alone. 
Totally. You know what I mean? It's like, I just need someone else to be like, can I just reason this out? Because this is what my brain is telling me. Yeah. Like, I just need a female friend to walk me home yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Does everybody hate me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Apart from the episode that I really enjoyed is like, Charity is giving her like speech and we hear like, she's like, I know this process does work. Although my happy ending didn't happen, and yet, <laughs> some point yeah, like, Justin is like, yet, <laughs> so cute. And it's like, said that? we didn't see, they didn't even show yeah. the person. Yeah. We just hear like really loud audience like, yeah. heckling. <laughs> and it reminded me of like the Melania Trump interview, like, hello, out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. uh, do we have any uh, final four predictions? Ooh, la la. Joey. I'm going to bat for Joey. Joey for sure. Brayden. Oh. Maybe. First impression rose, yes, but he came on. He's going to have to pare it back a lot because that lack of what comes across is self-awareness. Because I get being excited, and, and sometimes I will say, in fairness to Brayden, what can be perceived as constantly talking about kissing someone yeah. can just be someone responding to questions yeah. and prompts and things like that. And then they just do a montage of all the times he was like, did you kiss her? Right. And things like that. But I don't think that's what's going on here. I think he was truly authentically running his mouth. Yeah. And he, he, he doesn't give a shit. Because then if he is a fuck boy, if he's not a fuck boy, which is he is, but if he's not a fuck boy, then he's like, oh my God, I, kissed, I liked her. She liked me. We kissed. It's so, so cool. But that's not what's happening. We saw that intro package on the surfboard. We saw him like doing like extreme sports and stuff. Being... We saw the Chiron that said 24 San Diego. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Smoking you. Smoking gun. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's, it's going to be Aaron and James back like carrying each other off on the on the beach. You know, like that's what it is. That's <laughs> fine. And by the way, we love that duo. We love that for them. And that's like that's 24 San Diego. That's fun. I do feel like that that's where if there is going to be a scandal, it's going to come from San Diego. For sure. <laughs> San Diego. No, because you have how many guys are from San Diego on this Yeah, show? you're right. They'd be like, I knew they, him because we used to party. Someone knows someone about someone. We were in the Gaslight District yeah. and this gas lamp. Someone's gas gonna, someone's gonna narc on someone else. Yeah, I feel sure. like Aaron S. He's the 33 year old with this jawline firefighter. He's also from San Diego. I feel like he's Three the one who's gonna tattle from San Diego, which we saw in the episode because wasn't that the little trio by the bar and they're like, uh, San Diego. The yeah, three of them. It's gonna be a tale of San it's Diego. Diego. It's a small, like. It's a small yeah. city, relatively. Of Bachelor contestants, for sure. Yeah. That's yeah. Bachelor Nation in San Diego. Thank you. Yeah, that's ba it's Bachelor Nation West Coast, for sure. Yeah, and the Nashville. capital. Yeah, that's Nashville. Where, Nashville. Nashville. Yeah. That's where Katie went to go, like, get with her guy after she left the guy. It's like, it's, everything's in San Diego. All right. Anything, uh, anything else? Any other men that we have opinions on? Peter, he's a pilot. Forgot about him. Yeah. Another Peter pilot. I feel like Xavier should win only because, again, but this is all based off of like preconceived notions of charity going yeah. into the show. But yeah, and Cherry can be like, uh, you know, messy and sloppy with her dating yeah. life. But as a person, and I said, because I'm like, I, Charity seems like she enjoys a night in rather yeah. than a night out. Yeah. And Xavier also seems like he enjoy, enjoys a night in rather than a night out. Like, I feel like they're a, a, a compatibly boring. Yeah. In a, in, a, in a way that I, I would look for a partner. Yeah. Are uh, you night in or night out? I'm a night in. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. It's like some people are just looking for trouble. I'm one of them. You know, like I just yeah. like to be out and about and other people are like, I don't need to look for trouble tonight. Yeah. And it's I, important that they find one. Another. I mean, I could picture Charity and Xavier, but that's the thing. It's just like, that's maybe this is what I want for her and now yeah. that she wants for herself because I, I, Xavier, he's a fucking scientist. He's, he's clearly adorable. smart and like. I'm fantasizing about her and Xavier, like just like talking about stuff together. But nobody ever On picks the, the right person. Yeah. yeah. Xavier, Joey, Brayden, uh, uh, John some Henry. Just throw him in there. Some wild, oh, John Henry, no, some no, wild John card. Henry, how about not. how about John Spencer? In a good way, it's hard to pick pick some fan favorites or people who are gonna stand out. Other than Joey, for sure. Doughton, maybe, maybe, maybe John. She does like Doton. Doton could be. Oh yeah, she likes Doton. Doughton. Mm -hmm. and we, or and, Doughton as she calls him and Charity's brother likes Aaron B I don't know if that's the kiss of death or totally a green yeah, flag. It is. It's true. kiss of death mm -hmm. yeah red flag do the opposite agree to oh. agree well more to find out uh, next episode I watch it it's good it's wild it's, uh, it's a good sign for this season we'll see how long it lasts but I'm in I'm in I'm in too yeah strapped I hope it's, uh, in I found her to be um, 
more of a rascal than she was. You know what you I mean? You love a good rascal. So, I love a rascal. And I felt like yeah. she was, like, I, I felt like she was like a little more, she was a more fun hang yeah, than I thought. Yeah, rascal in the sense where it's just like, Charity clearly is smart. She knows deep yeah. down the right decision, but she's like, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, I you felt know? like she was, we, like, knew, we knew she was nice. We knew she was like sweet, smart, that she had a nice family. But I'm on like kind of a fun ride, and I feel like she's going to give that to us. Yeah, I think I think you're right. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited to find out. Well, we will discuss next week, so be sure to tune in. Kathy Kelly returns to break down uh, episode number dos of The Bachelorette. <laughs> tune in on Thursday for an episode of Going Deeper. The Women from Girls Gotta Eat, a wonderful show podcast. Uh, they're fun, entertaining. We'll get into a bunch of uh, pop culture, life, relationship, and dating stuff with them. It's an amazing episode. Don't miss it. Arden, thank yeah. you so much for coming. Oh my, thank you so much for having me. I was so excited to Always a pleasure. Please oh, come back. Always I, welcome. I love to. I love being here. Can, I'm so fun. Please let the audience know all the great things you're doing. Thank you so much. Well, you can find me on Instagram at Arden Marine, M-Y-R-I-N. I'm on the new season of Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Um, I have a podcast. Pop off. Yeah, girl. I'm about to host. I have a show that I host. It's on Hulu called Secret Chef that starts June 29th. <gasps> it's a cooking competition from the people who did Nailed It. And then I host Will You Accept This Rose, a very fun comedy bachelor podcast on iHeart. And I have another podcast called uh, No Autographs, Please, which is an improv podcast on iHeart that has like Nicole Byer and Lauren Lapkus and all sorts of fun people. So, Love. All sorts of fun things. Well, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Ooh, la, la. Yeah. Thanks for listening, guys. We'll see you back on Thursday. (laughs) Bye. 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 Hey, guys, if you loved what you listened to, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.